This is Andrew bringing you another Keyforge deck reveal and review. Uh, this is going to be an Age of Ascension deck that I got tonight from a little league I've been doing at one of my stores, one of my local stores. And uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. As you can see, this is not the reclosable deck. Alright, and this is Zap of South Tees. South Tees. It is uh, Untamed Bravnar Sanctum. Um, what am I hoping for? I think I'm hoping for a board control amber control with maybe some ramp in uh, Untamed and, and maybe in Bravnar. Uh, Grunt Buggy is probably good here. Probably want a grunt buggy. It's a nice, like, kind of beetle looking Archon, by the way. Alright. Let's see what we got here. We will start off with Bravnar. We have a Brammo, 4 power giant knight with 1 armor, and after you play it, you deal 2 damage to each enemy flank creature. Some decent board control. Uh, five, uh, Cowfine is a 5 power giant that says before fight deal 2 damage to each neighbor of the creature it fights. Good for dealing with little elusive things. Uh, Drum or not is a 6 power giant that uh, after you play, fight, or reap with Drum or not, you uh, return a friendly giant creature to your hand. Um, can be really good with Bramo. Really good if we get Ganger Chieftain, obviously, but. Uh, I guess, yeah, that could, st could still come. First Blood is an action with the bonus amber. It has alpha, so you have to do it first thing on your turn. And after you play it, you deal two damage for each friendly Brobnar creature. And you can divide this creature, um, this damage, among any number of creatures. Important, uh, it's been clarified. You can divide that damage however you want, so if you're dealing... 8 damage and there's your opponent has a 5 power creature and a 3 power creature, you can split it up and kill both of them. Um, also importantly, all the damage is dealt simultaneously, so, uh, and, and of course you can deal, let's say, you have 2 creatures, you could deal it all to 1 to just uh, soak it up on that 1 creature rather than having to spread it out. We have 2 of those, okay, I can be okay with 2, I probably don't want more than 2. Uh oh, three. Don't know. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Fuzel is a five power giant. After it reaps, if an enemy creature has been destroyed this turn, gain an extra amber. Groggins uh, is an eight power giant. It can only attack flank creatures. Groke is a five power giant. After it fights, your opponent loses one if it's still alive. Uh, into the fray is an action that for the remainder of the turn gives a friendly Brobnar creature fight ready this creature. That can be pretty good, especially on like a Lollop, which is an 11 power giant and location uh, that deals no damage when attacked. But of course it does damage when it is attacking. And Sound the Horns is a an action with a bonus amber. It says discard cards from the top of your deck until you either uh, discard a Brobnar creature or run out of cards. If you discarded a Brobnar creature this way, put it into your hand. Um, that's going to filter through our deck pretty fast. Um, we do have lots of Brobnar creatures, so good value there. Uh, this is kind of like a, a slow Brobnar setup, though. I mean, we're, we're just not going to be ripping through this too fast or, or doing a lot of, like, play and wipe. Um, we really need things to stick on the board to do any good. All right, let's look at Sanctum. We have Lion Boutram, who's a 4 power human knight with 1 armor, and deploy, and uh, Lion's Neighbors get plus 2 power. Um, yeah, could be good for some of this stuff like uh, like the Drum or Not, or the, um, the Grok. Abond is a 3 power human that gives other friendly creatures plus 1 armor, and it can exhaust to give them an extra armor. 
we got two of those. So this is creating an interesting picture where maybe we have these on the board, we have a lot of armor, and suddenly the Brabnar creatures are just staying and doing a lot of work. Could be pretty good. Uh, Albade is a four power, Albade the Grim is a four power spirit knight with one armor. Uh, after you play it, you capture three, it captures three amber, and when it reaps, you discard an amber from it. Uh, and that amber is just gone. We got two of those. Bordan is a three power human thief, Bordan the Redeemed, uh, with Elusive, and uh, Bordan can exhaust to capture two amber. Golden Aura is, ew, this is good with the Brobnar, uh, lets us choose a creature, we can fully heal that creature, and for the remainder of the turn, it is considered to be House Sanctum, and it can't be dealt damage. Uh, really good on, like, the Grok, maybe the Cowfine, uh, the Cowfine, um, even Grogans or Lollop, good for just getting rid of stuff. Protect the Weak is an upgrade with a bonus amber, and it gives the creature it's attached to plus one armor and taunt. Uh, maybe put that on the Grogans or something. Shield of Justice is an action that gives you a bonus amber, and for the remainder of the turn, each friendly creature can't be dealt damage. Uh, we have enough creatures here that, that that makes a bit of sense. You can probably get some good value out of it. Barrister Joy is a five power human knight with an armor that says enemy creatures can't reap. Ooh, Gorm of Om is an artifact. Uh, it's an item, and it does Omni sacrifice itself to destroy an artifact. And Anahita the Traitor, that's going to be interesting. It's a two-power human merchant uh, that can reap. Uh, after it reaps, you give control of a friendly artifact to your opponent. That's not optional. And if you do, they must give you two amber. Um, the only artifact I've seen so far is that Gorm. Uh, which could actually be quite funny because you, you give the Gorm to the opponent, they have to give you two Amber, and uh, there's nothing for them to use it on, so that could be pretty good. Okay, now we're into Untamed Territory. Fang House is a three power beast with Assault 3 and Hazardous 3. Uh, good for taking out stuff with Elusive, and it's annoying for your opponent to deal with. Full Moon says uh, for the remainder of the turn, gain an Amber each time you play a creature. Grove Keeper is a 3 power human witch that says at the end of your turn, give each neighboring creature a plus 1 power counter. Uh, key Charge is an action that says when you play it, you lose 1, and if you do, you can forge a key at current cost. Marmo Swarm is a 2 power beast that gets plus 1 power for each amber in your pool. Regrowth uh, is an action that gives you a bonus amber and returns a creature from your discard pile to your hand. Save the pack, uh, destroys each damaged creature, and gains you a chain. Tantadlin is a 9 power tree that only deals 2 damage when fighting, uh, but after it fights you discard a random card from your opponent's archives. Camouflage is an upgrade with a bonus amber that gives a creature the ability that um, creatures that aren't on a flank can't fight it. Nature's Call gives you bonus amber and returns up to 3 creatures to their owner's hand. That's actually decent board control. Uh, Soldiers to Flowers gains you an amber and you purge each untamed creature from each player's discard pile and for each card purged this way its owner gains one. So we have how many so far? Uh, one, two, three, four. Hmm, four potential extra amber there. Uh, and then, oh, and then a punctuated equilibrium. That's going to be the real interesting card in this deck. Uh, gives It's just an action. Each player discards their hand and refills it as if it were the end of their turn. Uh, that is an interesting setup there. That I really like that with the Nature's Call. Uh, nature's Call Punctuated Equilibrium is a straight up, uh, those creatures are effectively destroyed without actually being destroyed. Um, that's pretty interesting. So, okay, looking at this deck, that, that Punctuated Equilibrium is gonna be a real interesting card here. That's gonna make this an interesting deck. It's a, it could be a, combo killer because of that and really paired with the nature's call that's a good almost board wipe but you know I wouldn't count on that happening um, soldiers to flowers is going to be an interesting amber ramp um, other than that we have let's see four six seven 8, 9, 10. We have 10 Amber printed um, on the cards. I'm going to I'm gonna say, realistically, one of these First Bloods is 
we're probably going to get two of them together, so that's one less. Um, probably get some out of the full moon, though. Um, probably get one amber out of that, at least. And then, um, and you know, if you get the full moon with the nature's call, maybe it's even better, right? You can get a really good value out of that. Um, Anahita is going to potentially get us an extra two, but, I mean, you can't really count on that. The Gorm really does nothing for your opponent at that point, which is pretty funny. Um, yeah, and we have some stuff to do decent board control with, so we probably have some board control, but there's just... Um, biggest problem I see with this deck is it just doesn't have an obvious and here's what it will do with that board control because um, you're still going to end up fighting uh, can do some reaping but uh, it's going to I think struggle to just be fast enough but who knows I mean maybe with the punctuated equilibrium it would do better than I think um, that can certainly just lead to some interesting turns uh, so I'm excited to play it just for that reason, and I think it, it actually might do okay because of that. Um, and of course, having all your untamed creatures in the bin and doing a Soldiers to Flowers key charge is a viable way to close out the end of a game. So, uh, you know, I won't poo-poo it just yet. I think there's potential here. Um, there's just nothing flashy. Um... So, yeah, we'll have to see. Anyway, uh, that is Zap of South Tees. And uh, interesting, should be interesting with the punctuated equilibrium. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I certainly enjoyed making it. And I am really excited, looking forward. In about a week and a half, I'll be headed to Vegas. And we'll see how that goes. Uh, but thanks for watching. And happy forging.